So in our previous video, we discussed, we started with some routing configurations and we have, we have seen how to configure static routing for IPv6 and also we have seen how to configure static default route for IPv6. Okay. So now in this video, we're going to see how to configure dynamic routing protocols. Okay. So dynamic routing protocols like RIP, EHR, POSPF. Okay. So now the concept of dynamic routing protocols again remains the same theoretically, no changes. Only the thing changes here is the way we configure the commands. In that, uh, if you remember, if I talk about RIP version 2, um, and if I compare RIP version 2 or EHRP or OSPF in IP version 4, I'm talking about IP version 4, the commands, uh, something like this, we, we go to config mode and inside the config mode, we need to say router and then we have to say OSPF1 or router EHRP100 or router RIP. So this first line is going to define which protocol you want to use for advertisements. And in the second line, we are going to configure a command called network, network ID. And wildcard mask is optional in case of OSPF or in mandatory in case of OSPF, optional in case of EHRP and there is no wildcard mask option in RIP. But the commands are similar to this one in case of IP version 4, which we learned here. So now there are two types of commands here. The first command is going to tell which protocol you want to use whether router OSPF, whether router EAGRP, whether router RIP. And the next command is going to tell which interfaces we are supposed to advertise. If you want to advertise your LAN interface, we need to define the network ID of this address. If you want to advertise this interface, we have to define the network ID of the WAN interface. But in case of IPv6, the configuration is not the same, but here the configuration is slightly different. So in case of IPv6, we need to go to config mode. We need to define the command like IPv6 router RIP. There are some slight changes and then we have to define. I'll come to the protocol specific configurations. And here there is no network command. Instead of network command, we need to go to the interface. We need to exit back and we have to come back to the interface mode. So if you want to advertise this interface, we don't need to advertise the network ID. Instead of advertising the network ID, we need to go to the interface and then we just need to enable the protocol. I just need to say IPv6, uh, rip, enable some command like this. So when you enable the protocol under the interface, so whatever the IPv6 addresses on that interface configured, it can be one IPv6 address, it can be 10 IPv6 addresses. If you remember in IPv6, we can assign multiple IPv6 addresses on the same interface. So we just need to enable the protocol on the interface automatically. It is going to advertise all the existing IPv6 addresses on that interface. So I got some tasks here. So simple steps I wrote here, the same thing. Okay. So there are two steps in dynamic routing protocol in IPv6. We have to configure the protocol and we have to enable the protocol inside your interface in order to advertise your networks. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure RIP first. First we'll see RIP, how to configure. And once we finish RIP, we'll also see EHRP for IPv6 and also we'll see OSPF as well. Okay. So that will be our next task here. Okay. So let's get started with RIP NG protocol. Now, before I start, if you remember the multicast addresses, RIP version 2 uses, uh, 224.0.0.9 is a multicast address used by RIP, right? RIP version 2 uses this multicast address and EHRP uses in IP version 4, the multicast address of 224.0.0.10 and OSPF uses 224.0.0.5 and 224.0.0.6 multicast addresses uh, when it comes to for multicast message information to forward multicast addressing information. So. Uh, initial process happens based on this. So similar way here also uh, in IPv6 also they use multicast addresses, but they start with F2, FF02. If you remember any address starting with FF will be considered as a multicast address and we have to say nine here. So the same number is used here as well. And for OSPF, same numbers FF02 colon colon five and colon colon six. And for EHRP FF02 colon colon A. So A represents nothing but 10. In hexadecimal, we write 10 as A. So now the multicast addresses also similar to what we learn. 
So multicast addresses are similar to what we learned in our IPv6 v4 also. So let's get started with RIP. So now to configure RIP, the first command we need to go to config mode. Okay, and then we need to define IPv6 router RIP. So if you remember router RIP is similar, only the difference is we are going to add IPv6 before. And there is one more difference. We need to define one name which will be identified as process ID. So you can say CCNA, any name you can use. So I'm going to use as CCIE as a name. So we call this name is similar to your process ID. So if you remember, in OSPF we have a process ID which is going to differentiate each and every routing process. So which means on the same router I can run two different types of RIPs with one name as CCIE, one name as CCNA. Now these two routings, even though they are running on different interfaces, this routing will not interfere with this routing. So on the same router, we are not, we are running multiple routing instances similar to OSPF process IDs. So only difference is in OSPF, the process ID we define in the form of numbers, ranges from 1 to 65,535. But here we need to define a specific name or number also you can use. It can be any word in simple. But there is one more condition here. This, process, this name, whatever we are using, it must be same on both the routers. Which means, if you are using CCIE as a process ID name here, here also you have to use CCIE only. Then only they will exchange the routes between them. So just like your EHRP AS number. In EHRP, AS number should be same on both the sites. Then only they will exchange the routes. So these are the things we need to keep in mind whenever we are going to configure EHR, uh, RAP NG. So this number, this name represents a process ID and it must be same on both the sides, mandatory. And the next thing, we can exit back. So once you give this command, you'll go to config router mode. We can exit back the mode, again back to the config mode. Now to advertise my interfaces, I need to get into the interface, which is my WAN interface first. And inside that interface, we need to say IPv6, RIP, and whatever the name we have used, I'm used CC, CCI, I'm using here. So enable command. So this command is going to enable RIP NG protocol inside the interface S1 by 0. And these two names must be same, whatever we used over there. And similar way, I can go to the other interface, which I want to advertise F0 by 0. I can say IPv6 RIP and the name of that interface and then I can name of the process ID and then I can say enable. So this is the configuration which we need to do. And if you see here, in I, it's it's more similar to your IPv4 configurations, and the only difference between the IPv4 and IPv6 this is something we are adding extra, and this is something we need to add extra. And there's no network command instead of network command we have this command under the interface here, and uh, you can simply remember this configurations very easy. So now you don't really need to bother about what is the network ID and what is the subnet mask and all those things. So we just need to enable the protocol under that interface. That's it. So it's, it's something very, very simple configurations when we, uh, when we say it's really easy configurations. So let me do that in my routers. So my routers, if you remember in our previous uh, configurations, already there is some uh, routing configured. We did some default routing in our previous scenario. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that uh, default routing, adding no command before that. And the same thing I'm going to do on the router two as well. So I'm going to remove that command. So which means on router one and router two, there is no routing is running. If you just want to verify, you can just use a command called show IPv6 protocols. There is no routing protocols running on these interfaces. And to configure this, I can say IPv6 router, which protocol you want to use, I want to use RIP. You can always use question marks to move to the next options whenever you're doing initially. But once we do some laps as per my manual, you can really have good hands-on on your IPv6 routing as well. Routing and any name you can use, process ID. It can be any name, so I'm going to use CAPS CCIE. Okay, so now after this, there's no other commands we need to use in the basic uh, configuration. When you get into some advanced routing configurations, you may have some extra options here. So you can exit back and you can go to the interface and we need to start with IPv6. RIP and exact name of that and then we need to say enable command 
and the same command I need to enable on the LAN interface which I'm using F0 by 0 done so if I just you show history command to see what I did I did the similar commands what I just discussed so now the same commands I can copy paste on the other side also because if you see here I'm here also I'm using S1 by 0 and here also I'm using F0 by 0 so if you if you want to save your time you can always use notepad uh, to copy these commands and you can even uh, do the same so if it if the interfaces are same you can simply copy paste or if the interfaces are different just try to copy them in a notepad and edit the interfaces and paste back on the other screen it really saves a lot of time when you are doing the configurations but again you need to be very careful when you are doing that okay done so now as per this the first thing I should verify is so what I should see, I should see the routes from the router 1 should be seen on the router 2 via RIP. So these routes I should be able to see on the router 1. Let's try to verify start with the router 1. So I'm going to say show IPv6 route. I can say specifically RIP. I can say show IPv6 route. You can see routes are learned via RIP. And you can see the things here, RIP. Now if I try to ping, to the LAN interface definitely you should be able to ping so there's no there's no doubt into that so similar way you can see the routes on the other side and one more important show command which we can use show IPv6 protocols it is going to tell which protocol we are using RIP with a process ID name as CCIE and these are the two interfaces which we enable RIP and if you want to remove this RIP now you can just simply say no IPv6 router RIP CCI that's it so we just need to add only no command before you were routing here so now when you when you add no command here automatically it is going to remove this configurations from the interfaces so you don't need to go to each and every interface to remove just you need to add no before the routing configuration let's do the same thing on the router 2 as well why because we are getting into um, the next router configuration that is we'll see OSVF next okay so I'll say no IPv6 router RIP CCI done so now if I verify show IPv6 protocols there is no RIP running on my routers okay 